Hello everyone, welcome to Wrath of Math, I'm your host, Sean E, and today we're going to have a bit of fun and look at the error in a, a proof that lots of people share online uh, to try to slip up amateur mathematicians. They show them this proof that uh, 1 plus 1 equals 0 and say, poof, you know, mind blown, look at that. 1 plus 1 equals 0. No, it doesn't. Um, obviously, there's an error in that proof, and uh, I'm going to point it out to you in this video. So first, let me give you the proof, and uh, perhaps you're familiar with it, maybe you can spot the error yourself while I write out the proof. So we're going to suppose, of course, what we're trying to prove is that 1 plus 1 equals 0. I'll bring that down a little bit. So we're going to suppose that a equals 1 and b equals 1. And we can just let that be true. So then, a must equal b, because 1 equals 1. Now we can square both sides and get a squared equals b squared. I don't like working horizontally like this. I'd rather work up, you know, up and down, but I want to get it all in on this sheet. So a squared equals b squared. Now we're going to subtract b squared from both sides, and that's going to give us a squared minus b squared equals 0. Now if we factorize this, that gives us a minus b multiplied by a plus b equals 0. And now we're going to divide both sides by a minus b. So divide this by a minus b and divide this by a minus b. Now these, uh, these a minus b's are going to cross out leaving us with a plus b and 0 over a minus b of course is equal to 0. So that leaves us with a plus b equals 0. And then by substitution, looking back up there, we get 1 plus 1 equals 0. Boom, the world ends because 1 plus 1 equals 0. So what's wrong with that proof? Well, the, uh, the sneaky part is right here in the division. We divided by a minus b, but as it turns out, of course, a equals 1 and b equals 1. So a minus b is actually equal to 0. And as you should know, we cannot divide by 0. That is not allowed. So therefore, that's the error in the proof. 1 plus 1 does not, in fact, uh, equal 0. Uh, if you could divide by 0, um, everything would be totally out of whack. You, you could prove the most ridiculous of things. Um, there's this uh, great book I read called The Biography of Zero, A Dangerous Number. And, uh, and there's a proof in the book uh, just to demonstrate how ridiculous the world would be if uh, you could divide by zero, um, it proves that Winston Churchill is in fact a carrot. So of course you could prove anything in the world uh, if you were allowed to divide by zero. Um, once you get to such a ridiculous result as zero equals one plus one, um, it's over. <laughs> that's uh, it opens up a big hole in the world and everybody uh, everybody goes bye bye and that's the end. So. Don't be caught making lame mistakes like that in your proofs. But, uh, you know, if you want to uh, test your friends and family, you can give them this proof just for kicks and, uh, and, and then go on to prove that Winston Churchill is a carrot. Enough rambling. Hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know if there's any other things you would like to know about in the comments. Be sure to subscribe for the swankiest math videos on the internet.